back to the Wandering Star Farmhouse. Today I have a grocery haul video for you that is from Aldi. And basically I was getting ready for the holidays with my family and I figured I'd show you what this looks like for us for a family of eight going into the holiday season. So you may be wondering for a holiday shopping trip, where is our turkey or our pumpkin puree or our potatoes or our sweet potatoes or our green beans? Well, all of that we grew on our homestead this summer. So that's all tucked away in our freezer and pantries. And I've kind of separated it into a couple different groups. I've got kind of our pantry items, our refrigerator items, our holiday baking items, our holiday specialty items, and then four actual dinners that we'll have as a family over the next couple weeks. And stick around to the end of this video when I'm gonna tell you what our total came to for all these groceries today. All right, over here I have chips. Frankly, probably too many chips but a couple of bags of tortilla chips because we like to have that with salsa. And I have quite a few homemade salsas in the pantry, but I did pick up just a mild chunky salsa as well. And then a couple of bags of Frito style corn chips. And we get these ones for when we make homemade chili. Homemade chili is one of the things that's really easy to make with a lot of what I stored for my garden this year, the diced tomatoes and sweet potatoes and dry beans. My kids really like it when we have corn chips along with the chili as well. Then I picked up four boxes of cereal. My family can go through a whole box of cereal in one setting. So basically this is the whole family eating cereal four times over the next couple of weeks. And then my toddler was shopping with me, so I picked up a box of vanilla wafers and she has some on the car ride home. A couple of these boxes of crackers are ones that we will like to have normally or with cheese or with tuna fish, the wheat round crackers or the woven wheat crackers. These two boxes of graham crackers and most of these boxes of granola bars are actually for our family's 72 hour kit. They, it needs replenishing. We kind of end up cannibalizing it over, uh, over a while and, and uh, needing to replenish what's in there. So that's why I have so many boxes of granola bars. We like to get granola bars from Aldi because they do have a number of varieties that don't have nuts in them as we have a son who's allergic. I got a couple of bags of dried cranberries because my kids really like dried cranberries when we have oatmeal for breakfast. I try and tell them that dried cranberries are more expensive than raisins, but somehow that's not as motivating to them as it is to me. A couple of loaves of bread and a bag of tortillas is just kind of standard for us. As another snack, I picked up some salted rice cakes. Then I grabbed three bags of pepperoni because if you remember, I canned a whole bunch of tomato sauce and pizza sauce this summer from my garden because we like to have that regularly. So I wanted to make sure we had pepperoni in our pantry waiting for us. We've got a couple of beef jerkies. The kids like to eat these as snacks and they're good in our 72 hour kit as well. And then some cashews for snacking. We like to snack on different types of nuts. Well, all except for our son who's allergic. Here's some holiday baking items that I got. Someone lost the lid to our small bottle of olive oil, so I had to get a new small bottle. And we, what we do is we refill this with a bulk bottle of olive oil. I got a corn syrup because we do have a couple of things that we make with corn syrup. One thing being our homemade peanut butter popcorn recipe and a couple other holiday treats, including pecan pie that we do use a little bit of corn syrup for. The butter was on sale this week for $2.50. My friend, that was the whole reason I went on a shopping trip was to buy butter. And then I spent almost $300 on groceries. So good thing I got that cheap butter, right? Limit six, so I grabbed six. I grabbed a couple cream cheese, baking cocoa, baking chocolate, three bags of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and four cans of evaporated milk because I realized the other day that we were out of evaporated milk and we're about to come into pumpkin pie season. You know, I it looks like a couple of these are name brand evaporated milk, which means I probably spent more on them than I had wanted to, but that's how it goes sometimes when you're trying to go fast. All right, here's what I picked up that's going into our fridge. I got a gallon of milk because we have stopped milking our cow Sylvia at this point. And then I picked two of these kefirs up. This one is blueberry and strawberry. These are both really good, but I had a son who was recently on antibiotics and so he just finished up with those. And so now it's time to get his gut recolonized with good bacteria. So he's gonna be drinking this over the next week or so. And obviously I don't have a ton of fresh produce to go in the fridge because we have a lot of stored fall produce at this point. I did pick up mushrooms for Thanksgiving stuffing and carrot sticks for the kids to snack on as well. So I also picked up three bags of cranberries. If you don't use cranberries up right away, 
you can put them in the freezer. I put them in a bag first before putting them in the freezer. My birthday is in December and we like to make an upside down cranberry cake for my birthday in December. So we always make sure we have enough for Thanksgiving and for that. And then I picked up a couple bags of string cheese for snacks, bacon for obviously breakfast at some point with all our farm fresh eggs. And then I also picked up a Parmesan cheese. Now it's on to the most wonderful time of the year for shopping at Aldi when they get in their German Christmas cookie selection. So I lived in Germany for three years when I was growing up and I love that they have all the German cookies at Christmas time because they are a real part of my childhood traditions at Christmas time. We always pull them out as we celebrate Advent on the four Sundays before Christmas. And so I stocked up while I knew they were there. The four kinds I got were these, the chocolate covered wafer rolls, dark chocolate gingerbread hearts, those are called Lebkuchen, and Struppwaffel, Pfeffernusse, and then I got some milk chocolate gingerbread hearts as well. That is our German cookie haul for this winter. I also picked up some Nikolaus chocolates and some chocolate geld for Nikolaus Abend. As I mentioned, one of my sons is allergic to nuts, and so unfortunately, he, he can't eat most of this the German stuff because a lot of it has the hazelnuts that's just found in so much of the German things. So he gets his own separate treats and we take care of him. Okay, they had these fun root beers and ginger beers. These are really just for my husband and me. We don't drink alcohol, we don't drink coffee or black tea, and so this is just something for us when we maybe need a little special drink. Okay, one of our favorite holiday things to do is charcuterie boards. I can link to the video of my Halloween charcuterie board from last year. They have great charcuterie supplies. We love these little crisps that they make. This is the fig and black sesame. The other flavors are really good too. And then they have stuffed olives. We got pepper jack stuffed olives, which I might even save for my husband for a Christmas present. And then they got these feta stuffed olives as well. Then I bought this six cracker assortment to go with cheese. And you may recall, I have a fridge in my garage that is full of cheese that I've made from my, Sil my cow Sylvia's milk. And we're gonna start pulling that out at the holiday time and be able to make fun uh, cheese boards with my homemade cheese from Sylvia. My husband grew up with cheese balls and so he really likes those at the holiday time. The cheese balls at Aldi are like really tiny and so I just went ahead and bought the, the spreadable cheeses that they sell in their refrigerated section and bought sliced almonds and we can make our own cheese ball big enough to fit our needs. Also bought these tiny cute little herbed cornichons. Cocktail sausages, these will be good for the holidays at some point. A lot of times we'll have these like on New Year's Eve. And then I don't know why I put this in the holiday section just because it was an impulse buy that is not something I normally buy. And we'll just say it was for the holidays. All right, the last thing I have here is four actual like meals that I bought at Aldi today. So the first one is these chicken breast fillets. We really like these ones from Aldi, but the bag's kind of small, four servings per container. So we need two bags, but buy those with hamburger buns and make Chick-fil-A sandwiches for dinner. That's something that is like a quick, easy dinner. That's a fun thing to do when I don't have time for scratch cooking. These chuck roasts were on sale as well. So I went ahead and bought a chuck roast, but that's not too bad to just throw in a crock pot with vegetables from the pantry and get an easy dinner out of that as well. I also bought these ricotta and spinach ravioli, and these are actually shelf stable, so I don't have to use these up right away or anything. And that's just something easy to like throw in a jar of tomato sauce, or recently I made a homemade pumpkin uh, sauce with some of our homegrown pumpkin, and that was really good on pasta as well. And then the last thing is just like hot dogs and buns too. Sometimes my kids like to grill out or roast over the bonfire or something like that. Just quick and easy meal because it's hard to scratch cook every single night of the month. But thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you liked watching me go through everything that we purchased. We're really excited going into this holiday season. And my grand total for this shopping trip was $261.25. And frankly, it kind of made me want to choke. You know, groceries just keep getting more and more expensive, but it was payday, so we stocked up and now we're ready for the holidays.